I am going to show you how to bring sprites in from a sprite sheet. You've brought sprites in before and you know that process is pretty easy. But what happens when you have a sprite sheet similar to the ones I asked you to download already? So in order to do this, it, it um, assumes you've already downloaded these sprite sheets. So we begin the process the same way you have before. Double click on your layout, choose sprite, click to open the sprite editing window, use this open folder thing to load an image, choose that image you downloaded, and then you can zoom in to focus on a particular piece, but if you haven't realized yet, these sprite sheets just have a bunch of little icons and images that you can use within games. I'm going to show you what I would do for the Brick Breaker game, so I'm going to focus on this set of bricks here. Um, and what you want to do is you want to isolate the one you want to import. So I will start the process by zooming in a little bit to make my process easier. And the rectangle select is already chosen, so I just need to use that to surround my purple brick. Now, I don't think I got that completely, so I have to do it again because there's no way to resize the selection. So, looks like third time's going to be the charm again. All right, it's okay if you get too much because you can fine tune it, but if you don't get the whole thing, you do have to reselect it. Now I need to get rid of everything except for the piece I've selected, and to do that, you click the crop button. So, that's the selection I have so far. I don't want this black edge here, so I'm going to select again and crop again, and I'm pretty happy with that one. So I can close this and it automatically puts that small brick onto my layout. Two things I should do at this point. Number one, come over to the sprite list down here, right click, and give it a better name. In this case, I'm just gonna call it purple. Of course, it depends on the sprite you bring in, but in this case, because I'll have several blocks, I'll call that purple. I also think this size is a little small for my game. Um, and I could definitely use the handles here to make it bigger, but since I'm going to want all of my bricks the same size, I might as well choose um, coordinates or height and or width and height that I'll be happy with. I'm going to try 7530. That looks like a pretty good size, so I'm going to place that up in the corner and get another one so you can see the process again. Plus, I want a couple different color bricks, or maybe three or four different color bricks. Um, so, the process begins the same way. Double click the layout, choose Sprite, then click to open the Sprite Editor window, click this to load an image, click the Sprite sheet you want to load from, Zoom in a little bit to make your selection part easier. I think I'll grab the light blue brick this time. Uh, I already have my selection rectangle there. I'm going to select more than I need because it took me so long the last time. And then crop to get rid of everything else. I'll zoom in again. And now I'll fine tune it to remove that black outline. And then crop again. So I'm happy with that brick. And I close to make it insert. Then I'm going to come back down here and right click to rename. I'll name this one blue and enter. And then I want this to be the same size and I remember that I used 7530. 75 comma 30. Enter. And then I can position that up here. And so eventually I'll have a row of bricks up here. A couple of reminders to help you. If you hold down shift and drag a brick or drag a sprite. Maybe it's not shift, maybe it's control. If you control drag, you'll get a copy of that sprite, which is actually an instance. So I only have two sprites, but I have three instances. I have two blue instances and one purple instance. The benefit to control dragging an instance is that it, it copies the same size figure. If I were to pull another purple instance in, it shows me the size of the actual sprite, and I'd have to come over here and resize it again. 
So probably the better option if I'm going to duplicate instances is to hold the cult control key and just drag a second copy. And then of course I'd want to get these lined up neatly. Um, so another reminder to you to help you, if you want these to be really accurate, especially vertically, you can make sure that their position uses the same y-axis number. So if all of these have 20 in their y-axis, um, they will be perfectly aligned at that top row. This one is at 20. So that will help you out too because you don't want to have sloppy looking games. Um, so there are some tips for you. The sprite sheets will help a lot because there's a lot of free stuff out there. Um, and have fun with it. And don't forget to come back to this video if you need to.